Day one. How you feeling? I feel pretty bad from hauling. <laughs> but maybe just because it was twice as much water as last year. That could be it. But it felt like four times as much work, not two times. You having fun yet? I think that's a yes. He's saying yes. He doesn't he's not saying it, but he's breathing it. Pitch one free rider. Brent's up there. You're on play. We are doing the down climb pitch. Waking up to night one. Some heart ledges. Good morning. It did free blast and then sent the move. First go. So we're hyped. Now time to start the day hauling. One, two. This is not the AMGA certified way to haul. No, probably not. A 300 pound bag. As Tristan warms up in one way, I am uh, warming up in another way. Slightly different warm up strategies, but they both accomplish the same goal. Feeling lighter on the wall. Normally I just start with these. The six is actually what I usually only climb on. You know, the eight if I'm feeling weak, or the pinch. It's kind of just weird because you're like straight off the anchor. Right, yeah. Super complicated. Sweet.
Ugh. Ugh. Hands. We are about a third of the way up Freerider. We've sent every pitch thus far. I had to repeat one down low. And the sun got hot and there was a bunch of people in line. So we've taken some time to just chill super hard for probably like four hours. <laughs> Creeps a bun, but some parts of your team. But Babylon boy, them kill a youth and one old woman a chance. Some while I'm next, let's have a man's idea. Actually doing something? Piece of shit. Doing something? Piece of shit. And as the sun is beginning to set, our unlikely group of heroes has begun. Tristan is leading, We're waiting on a party up there, a couple parties up there, but we chilling because we know the best sending comes when the sun goes down. There's a man in there. You just can't see him. Tristan came up with the genius idea to eat dinner since we are hanging out at the belay while we wait. On fools up here. Locked on top. See ya. Coming, coming.
That's it, you're there. Nice. So we're here in the spire after a, you know, decent night of climbing. And just before my 1.30 p.m. alarm <laughs> runs out, no one else but Mr. Tyler Caro, AKA what up? Tyler Caro, <laughs> makes an appearance. 9.30, hauling up and he's Stoked. Very stoked. Meanwhile, Tristan hides from the sun like any good sleepy boy does. And I'm too stupid to go back to sleep. Got to the monster and I taped Brant up pretty good. It actually worked. Look at his shoulder. Nothing. Nothing. Dang. His elbow. Show me elbow. And then I Chilling. taped his uh, ankles. And then I taped his knee as well. Safe to say, all the credit on uh, sending the monster lead at, uh, what, 2 a.m.? Now we're hanging out at bum camp again. Yep, we're back. Hiding from the shade, or the sun. <laughs> Pretty serious, stressful day up here on El Cap. <laughs> we slept until... 11.30. Until the sun literally wouldn't let us sleep anymore. We got a grown ass man over here, putting in work, doing the doing the Lord's work, and then we've got Tristina in here, staying true to form, cutting her toe, oh not even cutting, oh getting in deep with the toes. <laughs> Nice, dude. We are prepping Tristan for his big monster debut. How do you feel, Tristan? Weirdly prepared, I would oh. say. That's what we want to hear. Maybe not in practicing off with, but in tape and support. Hey, <laughs> you know that's what we're that's what we're here for. We can't make you a better climber, but we can make you feel like you could be a better climber. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. We're sleeping in a very interesting spot. I don't think people really sleep here very often. The base of the boulder problem.
Clip. Nice. Nice, dude. With the two fingers. We are out here on the boulder problem pitch and the smoke and the clouds are coming in to create a very cool situation. Tristonio is up there working the boulder problem in the sun, our annual goal. And you can see the top of the captain is being encapsulated, not to be overly punny, in clouds. And we easily skank him. Stuff. Woo -hoo! It's like perfect here. Oh, sick. All the way around. I feel like we got it in pretty good shape. Especially considering the amount of precip over the last week. Not in any really awful spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're good, dude. You're good. I'll chill right here. Oh yeah, dude. I can love this pitch. It's a good one. It's a very good one. I did the totally unnecessary jump! <laughs> Bonus points! Woohoo! Tonight, like most nights on this voyage, we are eating our dinner at just after sunset. Tristan, what did you have tonight? Santa Fe style rice and beans with chicken. How was it? Uh, for the third time in a row. <laughs> Um, medium, medium. <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards, we're going to rappel 200 feet down and try the boulder problem and the Teflon corner. We'll see if we go to sleep before 1 or 5 a.m. tonight. On day five, after a beautiful morning together, Tyler and Peter finally break the gang up. Hell yeah. Enjoy it, buddy. See you, dude. 
Everybody wants to climb El Cap, right? It's so glamorous, it's so cool. Well, what about day five when you wake up, all your stuff in an organized, but in a pile, and you look over here and you say, that is the best place to do my business that I've seen yet. And you're provided this. Do this shit. Uh, Carl. Oh, 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 Nice, dude. Come on. Come on. Come here, stay high. Stay with me. Come on. Come on. In this, the first ever and inaugural edition of Big Wall Sleeping, we have a dark horse contender coming in. Tristan, Big Wall Sleeping, Bradford. And he's put in an impressive time of 10 hours and 15 minutes. But who can blame him with such a view?
just love this. Love and D. Dude, dude. You can see we've got a nice few piles. Tristan's tying up the bag. Got a beautiful view of cathedral. Sunset is hitting. And now we get to walk and wrap all the way down there.